Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn how to send confirmation emails to users after they've submitted a form on your site by using the WP Forms plugin. Sending a confirmation email is not only a nice gesture, but it lets people know their form was submitted and you've been contacted. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get started. We'll go over to the left and click on the Add New option under WP Forms to go into the form builder. WP Forms comes with a few form templates to help you get up and running, including one for a simple contact form, which we'll go ahead and use in this tutorial. Once we're inside the form builder, we'll want to go over to the settings tab on the left and set up our notification settings. Since people will often want to know that their form has been received, it's important to make sure that your notification settings have been set up properly to avoid any confusion on either end. In the notifications tab, you'll see various different settings you can configure depending on who you'd like to send email notifications and confirmation messages to. In this first section, You'll see a field called Send to Email Address, which contains a smart tag called Admin Email. By default, WP Forms will send a confirmation email to the admin email from your WordPress settings, but since we want to send an email confirmation to our site's visitors who have submitted a form, we'll want to change the smart tag to do just that. To do this, go ahead and click on the Show Smart Tags label on the top right corner of the field. Once you click on it, you'll see a drop-down list called Available Fields and an option called Email. When you select this option, a smart tag corresponding to the email field on your form will appear. This way, whenever a user fills out and submits your form, they will automatically receive a notification afterwards to whatever email address they provided in the form. If you'd also like to receive the same notification, you can include the admin email smart tag in this field or you can manually enter a specific email address. Just be sure to separate each email address or smart tag with a comma. You can also customize the email notification subject line if you want or need it to be specific. By default, the email subject will read new entry and have the name of your form. So if you'd like for it to read something different, you can go ahead and make your changes here. The From Name field lets you specify the name of the person or business that the email notification will say it's from, so it can be a particular person or the name of your business if you'd like. This works if you're the only one receiving the notification, but if you'd like for your users to receive this email, you'll want to make sure to change this to avoid any confusion. Similarly, in the From Email field, you can customize which email address the notification will say it's from. This is normally set to show the site's administrator address, so you can change it here if you want it to show something different. If you'd like for users to be able to reply to the email confirmation, you'll want to make sure to include your site's admin email or any other email address you'd like replies to go to in the Reply To field. It's worth noting though that if you leave this field blank, it will automatically default to the same email address used in the From Email field above. Finally, the message section, which is the last step in customizing your email confirmation. Sometimes you may want to include all of the data that the visitor submitted in this section. To do that, you would use the All Fields Smart Tag shown here. But if you'd like to only show a few pieces of information, you can use any other Smart Tags available from the Show Smart Tags option on the right, or you can choose not to include any of the submitted information at all. You can also include a custom message here, whether that be thanking the user for getting in touch and letting them know they'll be contacted soon, or whatever best fits your needs. You can also apply conditional logic to your notification, 
meaning that a user will only receive this particular confirmation email based on the fields that they filled out in your form. Once you've made all of your changes, we'll also set up our confirmation settings. Not to be confused with your confirmation email settings, the confirmation settings apply to what the user will immediately see after submitting the form. You can choose from three different options, message, show page, or go to URL. The message option will show a confirmation message immediately after the user submits the form. The show page option is usually selected if you want users to see a specific thank you page or something similar after the form is submitted, and the go to URL setting will redirect a user to a different page entirely. Once you've finished configuring all of your settings, let's go ahead and add our new form to our site and test it out to make sure that the notifications are being sent properly. Save your changes, and then exit out of the form builder, and once we're on the dashboard, we're going to create a new page for our form. Since we created a simple contact form, let's call our page Contact Us. You can then click on the plus button directly underneath the title or on the top left corner of the page editor to add a new block. From there, scroll down to the widgets option, click on it, and select WP Forms. You'll then be able to select the form we just created, and when it's done loading, go ahead and click on the Publish button on the top right corner. We'll then click on the View Page button, and then we'll fill out and submit the form. Now let's go check our inbox to make sure the confirmation email we set up arrived. And there it is! Once we open it, we'll see all of the data we submitted when we filled out the form, along with our customized message. And that's it! Your form is now set to automatically send a confirmation email once your visitors have filled out and submitted the form. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.